Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another... Oh, wow! ...moment at the Children's Museum in Houston. This is guar gum. Guar gum is found in toothpaste and shampoos, but it's also found in a lot of foods, such as salad dressing, barbecue sauce, ketchups, some yogurts, and of course, ice cream. Why is guar gum used in all these things? Well, because it's a great thickener. It's about eight times better than cornstarch. Why is it such a good thickener? Well, because it's a polymer, which means it has very long molecules. Pretend these are molecules of guar gum. When combined with certain substances, these molecules will bind together, forming a network. Kind of like this. This network creates spaces where water molecules or other liquids can become trapped, forming a gel, which is a type of colloid. Colloids occur whenever one substance is evenly dispersed throughout another one, but not dissolved. Aerosols, foams, and alloys are all other kinds of colloids. Let me show it to you a different way. Let's make a colloid, slime. First, measure out one gram of borax. You can find this in the laundry aisle at the grocery store. Add five teaspoons of hot water to the borax and stir to dissolve it as much as possible. Set the borax solution aside. Measure out 2.5 grams of guar gum. You can find powdered guar gum in some specialty health food stores or on the internet. In a mixing bowl, measure out two cups plus two tablespoons of hot water. Very slowly, incorporate the guar gum into the water, stirring constantly. Dumping it all in at once will cause it to clump up and you won't get slime. Then add in some food coloring to color your slime. Finally, dump in the borax solution, stirring constantly. It should gel up into a slime fairly quickly. So is a solid or a liquid? Well, actually it's both. Remember we talked earlier, guar gum is a solid that has been all stuck together and there's liquid dispersed in it. Liquid and solid. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.